So this dude was dogging out the mother of his child. He told her she didn't have no value. She big, she sloppy, and she got four kids. Ain't nobody gonna want her. He would tell her things like, you have four kids with two different baby daddies. If you leave me and get pregnant by somebody else, you will have five kids with three baby daddies. And then he would say, do you think people really will want you? You already big and sloppy. This woman got enough. She was tired of hearing it. So tears flooded her eye and she screaming to the top of her lungs, get the F out my house. He would go on, go on to make her feel bad. And he said, yeah, you mad because I'm telling the truth. And she said, no, I'm just mad because you're not respecting me. But somebody will value me one day. He said, B, please, you crazy. I don't even value you. That hurt her so bad that she went super aggressive. Really kicked him out, packed up all his stuff, and put it outside. She called her mother and told her mother what happened. Her mother said, hey, just drop the kids off and you go spend time with your friends for the weekend. So this young lady did just that. Now she's on her way to meet up with her friends. And he's blowing her phone up, leaving her all nasty, dirty text messages. Talking about her appearance, talking about her mindset, saying she don't want nothing in life. But this young man doesn't have nothing and he stays with her. So her and her friends meet up with each other and they go to the casino. And when she's at the casino, she's actually having the time of her life right now. So she looks over and she sees this big, tall, dark, handsome gentleman. He was clean cut. He had on a real nice suit and he was very muscular. He was 6'5". She was 5'3". So she's very attracted to this man and she's looking at him out of the corner of her eye. He just so happened to look around and spots her. And what do you know? He attracted to this young lady. So he walks over to her and says, hey, how you doing? My name's Josh. She is literally confused why this man even came over to speak to her. So she like, hey, Josh, how are you in a shy way? So they get to talking and they hitting it off. They smiling, they laughing, they really enjoying themselves. So Josh say, hey, do you mind if I ask you for your number so I could take you out sometime? She is literally confused. Why would he want to take me out? I'm all big and out of shape. So she says, listen, no disrespect, but look at me and look at you. Ain't no way in heck we gonna look good together. And on top of that, I'm gonna be real with you. I got four kids. He looks her up and down and says, listen, I know when you look in the mirror, you see flaws. But when I'm looking at you, all I see is perfection. Her heart dropped and she started thinking like, oh, snaps, is he in the big girls? He said, listen, I'm a big guy with a big appetite. I like my women with a lot of meat on their bones. This woman started melting and blushing right in front of him. And then he said, I want you to understand one thing. My father is not my biological father. He said, my father took in five kids and raised us all like we was his own. I wouldn't be where I'm at today if it wasn't for him. And when I was coming up and trying to talk to a whole bunch of women, my father told me this and changed my life. He said, if you can't bring value to a woman's life, you don't need to be in it. This woman like, this man is too good to be true. He said, I could tell you've been dealing with a bum because he making you feel some type of way about yourself. He said, so give me a chance so I can show you how much a real man will value you. This woman melted, gave the number, and then next thing you know, they start talking and hitting it off. Couple months go by and now things are getting very serious. So one day he pulls up to her house. He goes and knocks on her door. Now they technically with each other. Josh sits on the couch and says, hey, there's something I wanna to talk to you about. Her heart dropping in her stomach and she don't know what this could be. So she thinking to herself, man, I knew it. It was too good to be true. This man fine, financially stable. And he just so good with me. Then she thinking, oh my gosh, he the best I ever had in bed. She literally heartbroken by these words. So voice trembling, she says, what, what do you need to talk to me about? She's thinking he gonna say that he married or got another woman. He said, listen, I want you to move in with me, but I know you probably wouldn't feel comfortable with that yet. So I wanna move you to the side of town that I usually be on a lot. I'ma pay all the bills and you won't have to worry about a thing. He said, listen, I'm looking to marry you one day and I wanna prove to you that I can be the man that you need. This woman mouth dropping, ready to go into the bedroom right now. She a lion, he an elephant. She look at him like a snack, do you hear me? So a few weeks go by, 
the father of her child, the one that's been dogging her out, wants to see his baby. So he tells her, hey, can you drop my baby off so I can see my baby? She wasn't trying to fight. She said, we'll do. When would you want me to do it? He told her a time and she said, okay, we'll do it that time. So on that day, she texts him and says, hey, we're about to pull up in a little bit. He said, okay. And he stepped outside. When he stepped outside, he seen a big black truck pull up with some rims. The windows is tinted. And he like, man, this got to be a celebrity, or a big boss or something. So when the person jumps out the car, he sees him and he said, hey, yo, is your name Josh? He said, yeah, Josh Dawkins. Yeah, that's me. He said, whoa, 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 Josh Dawkins, that's in the NFL. He said, yeah, yeah, that's me. He started freaking out. Oh, my God, man, can I take a picture with you, man? Yeah, 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 man, my people not going to believe this. So they take a picture together and then he asks him, man, what are you doing here, man? Josh said, oh, I'm dropping off my child. Now he confused. He like, wait, hold on. He, he dropping off he dropping off a child he looked back at his building because it's so beat up and he was like you got a, a child to live here he said oh no 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 opens the door and let the baby out and then when he looks over he realizes it's his baby so he said whoa wait hold on, whoa whoa wait wait hold on wait he said so you with my baby mama he said oh that's you him he said yeah but why is you with my baby mama? He said, man, I'm a man that like a lot of meat on my bones. He said, look, I'm a big guy. I can handle all that. You know what I mean? His blood is boiling, but this man is so big, he don't want no smoke. So he's faking like he want to be his friend. Like, yeah, yeah, I feel you. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. So he asked, yo, is she in the car with you? He said, yeah, she right in the front seat. So he said, hey, no disrespect. Do you mind if I just knock on the window? He said, yeah, go ahead. So Josh walking to the other side of the car. And then he said, so why you didn't tell me you was with him? She said, let's not remember. You said you didn't value me. Then she said, listen, I don't want to talk right now, but you have a good day. So since he felt shooed off, he got real mad and emotional. But he didn't want to do nothing because he didn't want no problems with Josh. So he walked back into his beat up building, went and grabbed his cell phone and was mad at the girl that he was with at the time. Because the girl that he with don't even come close to the mother of his kids. He just needed a place to stay, so he was thirsty and got with this girl. So once he got his phone, he started trying to beg her back, say, I'm sorry, I apologize. Man, I, I miss you, I love you, I've been thinking. I didn't think you was gonna move on this fast. She didn't respond the whole night. Since she didn't respond, he started getting mad and calling her sloppy. Started talking about her bad and said, you ain't nothing but trash. Five minutes later, you hear the phone go, bing. He looks over. And he's praying that it's the mother of his child. So he goes over and grabs the phone, and it's her. And the text message read, Another man's trash is another man's treasure. And if you ever talk to her like that again, I'm going to buy that building you live in and kick you out of it. And then he said, I know you be hurting for money sometimes. So if you ever need some money, let me know. You can come work for me for a day, and I'll pay you minimum wage. And from that day forward, he valued the mother of his child type story time in the comments if you want more stories like this make sure y'all follow for more content like this and to all the cool people that follow me i'm gonna see you in the next video